Demon Slayer Season 2 begins. There's the train. The Mugen train. Just an empty car, peaceful train, nothing to see here, etc. Except for this shadowy figure in the window. Just instinctively runs away. <laughs> he had the right idea, he was a little bit too slow. Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba, Mugen Train Arc. Episode 1, Flame Hashira, Kyojuro Rengoku. Very cinematic opening. I can already tell the season's gonna be different. I can already tell. Noodles. Umai? Umai? <laughs> I like a man who likes his noodles, unlike Tanjiro who wastes them. I feel like already that says a lot about his character. This looks amazing. Seems like the guy's heart is in the right place. Just by the way he said that, and his focus, and the way he enjoys noodles. Would you stop with all this delicious food? <laughs> so we've been told, Slasher appears again, right, so it's a chronic thing. That's why he ran. What exactly is the Mugen train? <laughs> Something about this guy feels like he's going to be a great match for Tanjiro. He's got a, a similar feeling of purity. I feel like you can often tell a lot about someone's inner strength by their ability to compartmentalize facets of their lives and different emotions. Like, if I'm going through something heavy or severe or whatever, that is a way of staying with me for the day or week or month or, or year even, in a way that it's coloring other things, even when the things that are bothering me are not actionable at that moment or are not relevant to the, the situation, which ultimately means I'm letting things from other areas of my life affect enjoyment of things that are right in front of me. There's emotional baggage that I'm carrying in those moments from whatever the catalyst was of those feelings. There's a parable my mom tells where there are two monks who have taken a vow of celibacy who come across a woman trying to cross a river. One of the monks carries the woman across to the other side, effectively breaking his vow to not touch women. They continue along their path until the other monk can't hold it in anymore and turns to the offending monk and says, I can't believe you broke your vow of celibacy. To which the monk replies, I put down the woman hours ago and you're still carrying her. Rengoku's life is way more stressful than mine. He's seen way more terrible things than I have. He lives in constant fear of death, but he's able to enjoy simple pleasures like umai food, like few people enjoy anything. The fact that he's not living in constant fear and dread and he's just relieved that things went well speaks volumes about his inner strength immediately and bread <sighs> speaking of carrying baggage she can't even enjoy her bean paste bun yeah you would imagine there are people who know about the demons more than just the people fighting them like the guy in tanjiro's village this is too much responsibility for a child. No one's sacrificing anything with this guy around. <laughs> Alright, very direct, very pure. He's gonna be perfect for Tajiro, I just know it. <laughs> a man who enjoys his food. Some things in life are too sacred to ignore. <laughs> I like it. I like this umai gag. Fair. Fair. Yeah. I feel like this guy graduated from My Hero Academia school. He's got the smile on his face and everything. I'm Rengoku. He's even got the cape. <laughs> there you go. This girl's going places. And I'll make my assistant carry them. And he's generous. And he's thinking about his comrades. This guy seems pretty cool. Does he count as a blonde guy? Trust the grandma instincts. Nice cover. <laughs> it was true until you talked about not being suspicious. Anyone who does this job at this point is extremely brave. <laughs> With the bent on no less. Effortless landing. The way they managed to build up this this train, the hype of this train, is pretty awesome. We got a, a double Rengoku mid-card. 
Excellent cover. Oi! Bento's here. 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 He's the one killing conductors. Oh no! Now you've pissed off Rengoku. You have sealed your own death. <laughs> oh, he's fast. And he's doing this with a kid in tow, too. Smile on the face intensifies. That's what they're talking about, yeah. No scars, they said. Yeah, yeah, the conscientiousness is there. It's great. It's a huge relief to see this because I feel like the introduction to the Hakashi, Hazashi, was a bit rough. Understandably so, since they have no way of knowing that Nezuko was not a normal demon. We've already had two training sequences with Tanjiro, but I feel like this is going to be training with someone just like him and in action, like in the real world, in real time, back to back. And I feel like the potential is unlimited. I feel like this is going to push Tanjiro to new heights. Just meeting someone who is like him in terms of purity, let's call it, but is more powerful and more experienced. <laughs> That trampled bento just lurking there is a sad reminder of what's been lost. I like these very, very light insults about how they, he offends him. It's all very offensive. Holy crap, he just took him out. And spared the kid, and caught the kid! He's not the only one who's fast around here. Oh, but he's like actually really, really fast. <laughs> he's already saved. And no scars. Yeah, but the vendors though. Yeah. This way to your deaths. We know where he's heading. Not quite as fast. Well, speaking of speed, I mean, that's actually insanely, insanely fast. I <laughs> just keeps going. Damn. The power of the breath. Not to mention the the flame tie-in with Tanjiro in his past. You've endangered us all, child. Seems to be a theme, a running trend with children in this show. And that is a... That is not the Station Master. I mean, the only good news is that this guy really sucks at killing people. He sort of just kind of scratches them. Grandma was not lying when she said she would sacrifice her life. Nice. He can't run as fast until he heals, right? Breathing. It's all in the breath. The confidence. Oh my god. <laughs> he says after the fact. I guess there's no time to announce it. Oh, we've got history. This is a past vision. Yeah, this is total concentration and not just on, on the breath. It feels like total alignment with who he is and what he wants. How old is he exactly? Yeah, how old is he? I heard that the master is really young, so that makes him older than the master. Okay, alright, that makes sense. And I'm guessing there's a connection to Tanjiro's father as well. Could they be like half-brothers or something? Or just from a similar background? That and enjoying bean bread, bean paste buns. Uh, but this is only the beginning. Yeah. Right, that was just sort of an average. Well, it wasn't average, but he wasn't a, a blood moon or whatever, Kizuki. Needless to say. When does this guy sleep? 
Cute. Food was a good choice. I'm guessing it's very umai. <laughs> yeah, it's like the perfect gift. <laughs> yeah. This? Who is this guy? <laughs> Again. Father's still kicking. Yeah, this felt like a prologue, but it's a pretty... Pretty spectacular setup. If only for Rengoku. And there they are. We had a whole episode of that Tanjiro. We've seen this, yeah. Alright, got some other characters coming. Seems like everyone's a character on this train. This is gonna be an arc, isn't it? This is gonna be a real arc. It's not gonna be your average train ride. I have to stop watching these shows hungry. Umai! Say it. <laughs> Umai! Umai! I mistimed it. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I only sees what's in front of him, which is sort of beautiful. Oh, we got it! Fun fact! There's a lot that needs to happen. There's so much that's gonna happen. <laughs> they just kiss? The best. He's the best kind of person. He's amazing. Time to go to your deaths. This is a long one. <laughs> Worship and awe. It's the only answer. They don't know yet. They don't, they don't even know the Hashira yet. That's a huge compliment coming from flamboyant guy. I love him. He would, wouldn't he? He'd be a great older brother. These are all sort of understated compared to my impression. Love him. Yeah, there you go. He's not even crying. He's not a pitiful soul. That's high praise in their in their respective ways. Yeah, they all love him. Yeah, I wonder why. You don't even know, Tanjiro. You don't know what's in store for you on this train. Oh, it's happening now. It's happening in the fun fact. We're meeting in the fact. It's very meta. Deep sleep. What is it, a Zenitsu episode? Hell yeah. That was a really, really enticing start to season two. It, it feels like it's not actually the main story starting. In fact, in recommendations of how to watch these episodes. When people suggest the movie, they suggest watching this episode first and then watching the movie, which I'm not doing yet. I'm going to probably watch it later on my own. But I'm so grateful for this preview because for me, not really knowing what the train will be about and not knowing what exactly is in store plot wise, I'm so pumped to see more of Rengoku and I'm especially excited to see the interaction between him and Tanjiro. I feel like Tanjiro is a character that is already so great. At times, it's kind of like, well, what is sort of left to do, what is left to grow. Although I can't quite put my finger on it, seeing Rengoku makes me realize that Tanjiro has a lot of ways he can he can grow in that direction. Tanjiro has had teachers, but this is the first thing that feels like it could be an older brother type of relationship where someone is directly caring about him as a person in a, in a more direct and personal way. It's also just been established by the other Hashira that he is a great older brother figure and seems to enjoy that role. So it just seems perfect. It seems like such a great setup. And then adding to the fact, like I said, this is happening or going to happen in real time, so to speak, on the train as actions unfold. And then just overall, characters aside, again, can't quite put my finger on what it is because it's, I think, largely visual and auditory, but the quality overall seems higher. It feels like there's a confidence level that's been reached. Maybe season one was sort of unexpected in how successful or well received it would be i mean season one was so breathtaking visually it's so well composed in its elements but like i have no evidence for this but i'm imagining that it had a higher than expected level of success which led to increased focus on this season and for me it's palpable even only watching the prologue it seems so yeah i kind of already know this is going to be my favorite part of the show so far there are just all the right ingredients and i feel like we're about to hit a new stride a very fiery stride <laughs>